Yo, know, early 2000s. I mean, early 2000s. Hell, it may have been 2000s. We in the club, man. We in the hood club, man. You know what I mean? We in there jumping, man. You know what I'm saying? The DJ's jumping. Drinks is right. Everybody's getting along. Ain't no foolishness going around, going on. Everything's everything, man. Next thing I know, the DJ, he puts that, I represent. Where them killers at? Third War, Calio Projects. Man, he plays that. I'm about it. Man, why did he do it? He plays that I'm about it, man. You know what I'm saying? For the first couple minutes, you know, people's bouncing around, jumping around. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing crazy going on. You know what I'm saying? Everything's still cool. Next thing you know, man. Foul, 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 foul. All you hear is shots. So everybody's, you know what I'm saying, trying to take cover. Duck. Get out the way. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to get trampled on or whatever. Just, just you know, take cover. Play that I'm about it, man. Dude done just dude done just lost it. Start firing, but he fired in the ceiling. He shoots four or five shots in the ceiling. Ah man. Obviously the club's over with. Police come. Everybody's panicking because don't nobody really know, you know what I'm saying, exactly what happened, man. Come to find out. Police find out who dude is. He gets arrested. He fights his case for a minute in the county jail, whatever. He ends up getting 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Wanting endangerment. He could have got way more than that because all the people that was in the, you know what I'm saying, in, in the establishment or whatever, he's fine. So it was crazy, man, because unfortunately, I ended up catching a case maybe about two years, not about a year later. So they send me, you know what I'm saying? They send me down or whatever. It was my first time ever going down, man. They send me to the pen. They send me straight behind the fence. I don't even remember why I even went behind the fence. Because my cases, man, I ain't getting on here acting like I was no hella fat criminal. My case was like some petty or something. I don't even remember what it was as far as what sent me behind the fence. So they sent me behind the fence. You know, behind the fence here is just like the walls. Behind the walls anywhere else. You got... You got camps or you get sent behind the fence. You know what I'm saying? I got sent behind the fence or whatever. So anyway, I'm behind the fence. I run into dude. Now, I don't really know him knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of came up together, but, you know what I'm saying? I grew up, like, around the corner from where he grew up. You know what I'm saying? But we knew of each other, but we ain't never really personally kicked it, nothing like that. So, you know... Some time goes past or whatever. Well, you know, whenever you locked up, especially, you know, when you're behind the fence, man, you kind of ride with your car, you ride with your city or whatever. Well, he was at. So, you know, I ended up talking to him one day, man. And, uh, you know, he brought it up. I ain't never said a word. So he's telling me what happened. I'm like, dog, believe it or not, I was there. He was like, he was there at night. I'm like, yeah, I was there. I said, dog, what happened, man? You know what I'm saying? Once he broke the ice and he got to talking about it, he said, dog, I'm a No Limit fan to the fullest, man. He said a nigga couldn't even say nothing bad about P back then because if they did, nigga, I was ready to do whatever. He was like, man, they play that. I'm about it. He said, I got to jumping around, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, next thing you know, I just start firing in the air. He said, I ain't fire at nobody. He said, but I just... You know what I'm saying? Got the firing in the air, dog. He said, I don't know what came over me. He was like, I was so gone off no limit back then. 15 years, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we talked, we chopped it up or whatever. You know, you go back and forth, discuss all the no limit songs or whatever. But the point that I'm making is, you know, all these people that's hating on P, man, I ain't never, I've never seen no rap label no rapper however you want to put it have a run like no limit had man that's not the only uh situation that happened here i was here when p was he was at a club here little hood club and i'm not gonna speak on it you know what i'm saying because i just choose not to speak on it but it went down that night too you know what i'm saying like there's certain songs that you just didn't play back then 
you know, tear the club up with three, six mafia. Uh, you really didn't want to play it. I'm about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I'm outside of the club, niggas think I'm a punk. What's that? Uh, I forgot bone crusher. You know, so I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. Certain songs that you didn't really want to play if you wanted to keep your club, man. And for whatever possessed those DJs to do so every once in a while, man, DJs to play them. Club might make it through the night. It might not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That particular night that I'm speaking of, it didn't make it through it. So with that being said, I'm saying there's no rap label that I've ever seen as big as No Limit Records. You got Cash Money. Yeah, they lasted longer and they did a thing and no disrespect to Cash Money Records. You got uh, Murder, Inc. was big. You got Rockefeller. You got 50 Cent and them a G unit. You got, um, you know, Dame Dash and them Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Death Row, obviously. You got some record labels that was huge. But not like the tank. Dudes was getting tattoos on them. No Limit Soldiers. Dudes was wearing the chains. Dudes had the beanies that said No Limit Records on them. P even had his own shoes. Had his own dog. Sweat. I had I had a uh, No Limit sweatsuit. Dog. It was nothing like it. I've never seen it. And I'll probably never see that ever again. You know what I'm saying? Dudes is ready to get down for P. And they ain't never met P a day in their life. They considered themselves no limit soldiers, man. So a lot of people now, because P's not in the music industry or whatever now, is just like, it's like they forgot about that. You, you see what I'm saying? You can't do music forever, especially rap. Which I want the man to still be doing music. Coming out with music. He moved on to greener pastures, bigger and better things, man. He's selling products now, man. You best believe one of them products is going to jump. I think his cereal is really going to jump because everybody's getting behind him. See, I think what P's problem was for years, he never really embraced the, the rest of the industry because everything was independent with him. So he didn't have any celebrity friends. But guess what? You have to have celebrity friends. And I think he's understanding that now. You got to have celebrity friends to push your brand. Because you can push your brand when you hot as fish grease like No Limit was. You can push whatever product you want to push. But now he ain't hot like that. So you got to have, he still has a fan base. But we all grown up now. You know what I'm saying? These, these young cats, they don't know who Master P is. Not really. They know, but they don't know, no. So now he's teaming up. He's getting with these other uh, celebrities. And it was a beautiful thing at the BET Awards. To where you seen a lot of the other celebrities, rappers, uh, R and B, whoever, just entertainers in general. The box of uh, you know what I'm saying? That was a Snoop Loops, Snoop cereal in their hands, advertising. Shout out to my uncle Snoop, Master P, man, best tasting cereal. That's a beautiful thing. So now he's understanding. Like, hold on, man, I ain't got to go into these certain type of rooms, and I don't have to do you know, attend these parties and do the things that some of these people do, but, but, a lot of these people fool with me, man, you know what I'm saying, I was just the one that didn't want to fool with them, so I believe that, I believe that this product right here is going to blow, and then once that blows, everything else is going to blow, man, you know what I'm saying, so y'all quit hating on P, man, whack 100, quit doing all that hating, man, he's not going to respond to you, bro, so why keep bringing the man's name up, you sell diapers, Nobody knocking you. You sell diapers, dog. Who's knocking that? Nobody. So why are you knocking this other man, dog? He ain't gonna respond to you. He don't even know you. Same way, he'll probably never see this video. He don't know me or whatever. I'm just a, I'm a supporter, man. That's all I am. I'm a supporter. Real Kings TV, man. Hopefully you like the video. Comment on it. Share it. Hit that post notification, you know what I mean? So that way, uh, anytime I drop a video, you'll be one of the first to get it. Well, I guess you got to subscribe first, right? <laughs> I forgot to say that. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You know, we talk about Master P on, on the channel a lot because that seems to be a, a topic that most people, uh, when we do talk about P, 
a lot of people, you know, gravitate towards. So why not then? Y'all want to talk about P? Let's talk about P, man. You know what I'm saying? But at any rate, Real Kings TV, man. Trying to grow the channel, new channel, man. You know, we ain't been in business too long, a few months. <laughs> you know, trying to get bigger, but we can't get bigger unless y'all behind us, man. Pushing the videos out. Pause, though. Double pause. Sharing the videos, watching the videos, but you got to hit that post notification, man. One love.